Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So I know many of you are using WordPress to do your product reviews with, promoting different types of products, and I want to show you a really neat WordPress plugin I recently found. I added it to one of my WordPress sites here for my home reviews video channel. I'm going to explain how I have this website set up and what I'm using this new WordPress plugin for to help boost my conversions with my affiliate products. Now, as always, all the resources I mentioned will be listed underneath this video in the description box if you want to go there and check them out yourself. This WordPress website is a reflection of my home reviews YouTube channel that I have where I do product reviews for physical products on Amazon. And I have a whole course about this. If you guys don't already know, it's at ytinfluencer.com. How I do this, how I get these products free and earn money from it. Now, but what I want to show you in this is this is a WordPress website that I set up and I'm using my YT Evo plugin to automatically import my YouTube videos and content into this website. So I really don't do much with this website at all. It kind of runs on its own. So for example, if we come down here and if I open up a couple of these links here, you're going to see where my YT Evo plugin imports this video. It imports the title. It imports the content from the video as well as uh, the transcript. And then I have some ads down here on YouTube. But what I'm going to be showing you in this video uh, is that this new WordPress plugin that I found that I'm using, it lets me put boxes anywhere I want to on these posts to promote or recommend uh, uh, products from Amazon. So let me show you one of those. Let me jump back up here. We'll go to this one here. This is my latest product review. And you can see right underneath this video, it has a box here. It has an image. It has the title of it, the price, and a buy now button. Now, this was created for me just by entering the URL for this product. It automatically adds my affiliate link and everything right under this video. So uh, this looks so much better than just having a link underneath that says click here to visit Amazon. Now, another one I want to show you. Let's jump over to this one. These were some solar lights I reviewed. And you can see this is another option here. These are like top selling products. You can set these up to go on your WordPress post also. And then if I scroll on down, you can see that there's also comparison type images that you can put on your WordPress uh, post and you can edit everything on here to customize anything you want, the images, the titles, the columns, uh, the rows, how many ever. And I'm going to show you all that here in just a second. Okay, so here we are in the back end of my WordPress dashboard. Now, this plugin is called Affiliate Ninja. And like I said, I'll put the link below this video if you guys want to check it out. All you have to do to get this set up is you enter your license key up here in this box. And then down below, you're going to enter your Amazon product API key settings. So if you are already an Amazon associate or an Amazon affiliate, then you can log into your account. And let me just go ahead and do that because I can show you where it's at. Okay, so here I am inside of my associates account. And if you go under tools, you'll see where it says product advertising API. This is where you're going to create your API key and your secret key that you can use to enter in this box and in this box. And then you're going to enter your partner tag here. The marketplace, mine is just dot com. That's what I'm using. And then here you can enter any ASIN product name to test it to make sure it works. So for example, I already had this in where I tried it before. You click on test and then you're going to see where it pops up here. So it shows you that it is working. If it's not working, then you got something in these settings wrong here. Now, once you have those settings done, you're going to come over to your posts and under here, you're going to come over and click on edit with the block editor or with the Gutenberg editor. You cannot do this with the classic editor or Elementor or anything else like that. So if you have those, you would have to convert it using uh, Gutenberg in order to use this plugin. So for example, um, one of them right now, you can see this one here, I edited with the classic editor. If you have the classic editor, all you would have to do is click on block editor. And then if you click anywhere in here, you're going to see a little pop up here at the top that says convert to blocks. So if you click on that, it's automatically going to convert it to Gutenberg blocks just like this. It's still going to look the same as your post, but then you can come in here and you can add and use the blocks then. So let's jump back and I want to show you how I have mine set up. So first we'll come in here to the Fedoni uh, projector. I'm going to click on the block editor to edit it. And you're going to see here, this is it right here. So here we have the video where it embedded it. And then this is where I add it. So if I wanted to add, say, another one, I could just come down here and we'll hit um, enter, make another line here, and then hit on plus and then browse all. 
And then over here, you're going to see a Philly Ninja and then the different types of boxes they have. So there's currently six of them. There's a product box. There's a top pick box, a rating box, the comparison table, recommended products and a pros and a con box. I'm not going to go through and show you all of these. Uh, you can learn more from their website how each of these looks. But if you go to product box, this is by far the easiest one to use. So if we click on it, you can see down here where it adds another box. And then all you have to do is you can manually edit all the stuff if you want to. If you have your own images, you can upload them here or select them from your media library. You can change the title. But what I suggest you do for this option and what makes it the easiest is to come over here on the right hand side and you'll see some options here. This one says search via ASIN and this is by far the easiest way. So if you come up here and say you're on an Amazon product page that you want to promote this product and all you have to do is come up here to the top in the URL. And if you go to the end of the URL, you're going to see where it says DP slash. And then after that, this is going to be the ASIN. So if you copy this and you jump back over and paste this, it's gonna automatically populate this for you, including your affiliate link based upon the settings that you used when you set it up. And now you can change this. So if I wanted to, I could click in here and change the title even. And you have all different kinds of settings over here. So you can, you can uh, show product subtitle, show product description. And if you don't want all this, you can take it and you can delete it. You can edit it however you want to, to show only what you wanna show. I'm going to go ahead and take this off for now and this one, but down here you can see you also have settings for your image. So if you want, you can make your image bigger, you can make it smaller. And depending on what WordPress theme you're using and the width of your WordPress post, you may want to adjust this so it fits best for it. You can also adjust the product title, the H2 tags, all the collars, the pricing, the buttons, everything with these you can edit. So let me jump back over here and let me show you the other one I did with the comparison table that was on this one. We're going to edit it. You can see here, this is the one that I used here. Now with this one, you can't enter an ASIN for each one. It'd be great if they have it set up that way. But for now, all I did was I went to Amazon. I saved the images, uploaded them to my media library. And then all you have to do is let's say I want to delete this image. I can click delete. And then here it says choose, uh, I already have it in the media library, so I'll go here, click on it, select, and there it is again. Now, if I don't want three of these, let's say I only want two of these, I can come up here and maybe delete this middle one and then just have two. So let's say I just wanna keep it like that. We can do that too. And then you can add whatever you want for the title, the rating, and then also for the buy now button, you simply highlight the text here in the button, and then you're gonna come up to link and you're going to add your link to it and it's ready to go just like that. And then scrolling on down, here is the one for the comparison. This is just as easy to use because once you add it, you add it just like the other ones. So you're going to go up here, go to an empty space, go to your blocks, browse all, and then you're going to select comparison table. And you can see if I add the default one, this is what it looks like. And then to change it, all you do is you delete these images that they have up here. So hit delete delete, delete, and then you select uh, text image rating button. This is going to be an image. So you do image and then you can choose to upload an image or from your media libraries so would go here, pick your image. It adds it would do that with the other two. And then over here you can change these options. So you can see on mine down here how I changed the text to fit what these products were. And then you also edit your options here within the box and then you add your links to the buy now buttons and then you're done. Simple as that. So it's pretty easy to use. And then once you're done, you just come over here, update it, save it and you're ready to go. We'll give it a minute and come back over here and view it. And you can see my video. You can see we only have two here now because I deleted the other one. And then scrolling on down, we have the comparison table here. So this is a really great way if you want more exposure for products you're promoting on your WordPress sites. Maybe you're just writing individual reviews yourself and a great way you can do this for a lot of these products is using ChatGPT, especially when it gets connected and more accessible from the internet. So where you can do, uh, you can have it create articles or content for you for pretty much anything after that because it's going to be able to access those URLs individually and take that content and rewrite it and then you can simply put all that on a website you can add images like this and have a really nice page full of great content 
images and even a video if you have one of those too. So a neat little plugin if you guys want to try it out. Links below this video and everything else. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll let you know when I upload more videos. Have a great day.